Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Casper and I'm back with another episode of Building with Casper. Um, today's episode, I thought I'd just show you around what I've been doing um, off camera. Um, obviously, as you can see around here, we've got the grass in. Um, no other sort of details yet, like missing windows. <clears throat> Let's get my hand out here. Um, yeah, so I've done all of these. Yeah, like I said, missing windows. Put the grass in. Um, I haven't actually sort of like put the uh, tall grass in or whatever it's called. The um, actual grass like this and the bushes and stuff like that. So I've only got up to here with these. Um, obviously we go all the way over here. This is where we ended last episode. This bit's all sort of up and running and done and dusted. Um, so yeah, I've got these like market stalls in all set up. I don't think I showed you this last episode. Um, but yeah, you can see the little floating bits that I still need to get around. But yeah, so I sort of moved along here, just basically getting it all in, all the grass. I thought if I get this done, then it's easy, you know, to just spam around the actual, like, normal grass, as you would say. Um, yeah, it goes quite far, to be fair. It's, like, all the way over to here. I think it goes around there just a little bit, and then comes back on itself. Um, we're sort of just on this edge. Obviously, I've got all of this over here to do as well. Um, we sort of jumped in over here. I need to put trees down, um, like palm trees and stuff like that. I've put a few more custom trees down. Um, like here, this was meant to be a custom tree, but I planted it ages ago and I sort of like it. It's just overgrown. Who cares? Do you know what I mean? But like here, middle of the street, nice custom tree goes there. It works quite well as, you know, like for parkour. So if I was up here, for example, I can like jump off here onto this and then onto this. And then, you know, you can go round. Like that, if I could actually make a jump, I'd obviously jump up here and then onto this ladder. I've used like a uh, rail here to sort of look like that this ladder is actually like hanging. Uh, it's like a rope ladder rather than like a solid ladder that I've got sort of. Yeah, like this ladder rather than it sort of being a whole actual like ladder that goes all the way up that you've sort of propped against. And it's sort of just a little bit overhanging. We've got a rope ladder. Um, yeah, so that's sort of like what I was going with that. So, nice custom tree there, custom trees there. Um, still need to, like I said, put the um, spore blossoms down. Come in here a little bit. This bit's all sort of actually designed with the normal grass and the bushes. And, yeah, so I've, I've done a fair bit. Obviously, I've got a lot more to do. I sort of took a little break just from, you know, once we sort of finished the uh, whole area with the buildings and stuff, I took a little break because this bit is tedious, like just putting down grass like in shapes. It, it takes its toll on you. It's not the most exciting, at least when you sort of like put a building down, you see something developing, you know, the, the world is then getting better compared to just putting down grass. It like looks barely any different. Like if that grass weren't there, it wouldn't really make much of a difference like overall. But obviously, once you get all of the grass in, then it makes a difference, you know, like then it can sort of like all add up and, you know, you get that full feel. I've still got to add like markets in this place and like other places here and there. But yeah, I thought we'd sort of step a little bit away from Havana today because um, obviously, like I said, last episode was pretty much it. Obviously, I'll come back here in a later episode once it is fully done, all the windows are in, and then obviously you'll get your little montage that I've uh, promised that will be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're going to step away from Havana and we're going to move over to the Unity area. So I'll catch you when we get there. All right, guys. So I'm just walking through the street right now. And like, just coming through here, you can just tell how old this area is. Like, literally... This was the first building I ever made, like the first one of the thing. So this grass, like it was just literally a super flat and I built this building and I've actually like put first building built on the world because why not? And it was basically a little pub and you can see the detail that I sort of put into it. These are like planks of wood are missing, you know, like I've basically just used stairs to do it. Um, obviously, I've decorated it all properly, but like, look, we didn't even have like proper thing like good design so i used like fucking i don't even know what these are like note blocks and that like just or jukeboxes and put signs around them and we only had oak signs at the time like that's how mad it is like yeah it just, it's just crazy to me and then obviously like just the doors as well like obviously since building this i have come back in and put the proper doors in um but yeah these ones i haven't like look at look at the design in here of just like 
how basic this is. These are like stoves. Obviously, they probably didn't even have stoves back in the fucking day when this was like when when Unity was set back in like whatever 1738, I think it is, for the French Revolution. So it's like, yeah, they didn't have stoves then, but I still fucking done it. So you guys have obviously all seen this, but if you haven't, go and check out the episodes with Unity and it'll be like the first two or three um, of the actual Building with Casper series. Um, but yeah, obviously, like, we've got these buildings that I've done, like, updates on that you haven't actually seen a really close look at. Um, yeah, like, this is obviously in the game itself. And, like, I just love the depth that I've sort of used here with, like, the walls in the wall that just sort of like has that offset look they got the little overlapping sort of like i don't know the castle sort of look this is all fully designed up here and there's an actual mission up here like this guy's got his fucking head on a stake um yeah i just love how this actually come out i think it's really fucking nice um it's pretty much all done like inside is all designed as well like if we get up here yeah you got the whole inside done for like levels um but yeah th so the reason why we're actually here is because i had an idea for my next episode i didn't want to do it this episode i wanted to sort of ease you into it i want to play through the map now obviously it's not fully done and there's going to be loads of bugs because obviously i'm not the best at like doing the command blocks so i'm still learning and i've done command blocks and you know they could have messed up there there could be one that i've not done a teleport properly or I've missed something like, you know, filling a block in or something like that. So I obviously will we'll go through it. And if there's something wrong, there's something wrong. We'll sort of, I'll go back and fix it. I'll make a note down on my phone or something like that to go back to it, fix it to how it's meant to be. And then obviously it will be ready for when I release the map. But um, obviously over here doesn't look like there's a lot of commands, but they are under here. So, you can see that there's obviously like a load of torches around. This is before I really clocked on to night vision potions. There you go. So, there's the night vision potion. Right, we can now see. Um, so, obviously, these are a lot of command blocks. And, like, yeah, I mean a lot. There, there's a lot going on here. Now, this area here, if you've ever played Unity, you'll recognise it once I go in there. But it's like you it's like the assassin sort of like hideout i guess you could sort of say or their headquarters or whatever like their their command center or something like that i don't know whatever terminology you want to use is where the assassins basically like chill um so yeah like there's a lot that goes on here um with the command blocks i won't try and explain it in this video if you do want to see like how i've sort of done it and you know the thought process behind a lot of things then you know, let me know in the comments and we'll sort of go through it. So, if we just drop in over here, like I said, if you've played Unity, you'll recognise this area. I actually need to get these sea pickles actually put in for candles. So, we may as well do that while we're here. And what's nice is they will add actual lighting rather than having to use these torches. And there's the bucket of milk. So, now this is the lighting that we're dealing with. So, let's... We'll go with the same that we've got here. So we've got one there, two there. And we've got three over here. One, two. So I'll get these in and then I'll be right back. Okay, so the candles are all lit. Now, I'm going to grab this just in case. Because I have a feeling as soon as I knock this out, it's going to be really dark. And yeah, it is. It does have a nice atmosphere to it though. But I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about how dark it is that is like it's kind of spooky like it's pretty cool i don't know whether to leave it like that let me know in the comments what you sort of think i could obviously add a few more like maybe some down here if that makes sense so like maybe like besides these just to sort of like fill out this area maybe like one down here get a couple there just like that sort of thing just to, like they don't really there you go like three gives out a lot of light two not so much like maybe we put a three there see that's not too bad uh let me know what you think like obviously it's quite nice that it's a little bit dark because obviously it sort of shows that you're underground because that's where this is so yeah coming through here this is where you speak to your mandem belek i need to fill this hole in 
just like that. Um, so yeah, this is like the Assassin's HQ, like I said. You've got these Assassin's Creed logos down here on the bottom of the um, like big curtains, basically. Obviously, in the game, they overlap and there's nowhere to sort of stop that, but I've done the best that I can. Um, we've got these pictures of like people up here. I like these ones because they look like sort of like assassins. And the photo has been like, or, you know, a painting has been done of them with their swords or something like that. You know, obviously, I know they have hidden blades, but they also wield swords. Um, this bit right here is like blocked off with barrier blocks because you're not actually meant to go here yet. So obviously, when you teleport in here for the first time, you speak to this guy. And then this bit is all fully open. So we'll just go through here again. Look, we've got some more candles that I can put down. So I'll do that um, coming through here. Like this was built before like campfires were a thing but i don't think i really like how a campfire would look up here like obviously getting smoke and stuff i can't even put it down but yeah getting smoke and that but yeah i think that looks all right you know um obviously there's chains but um i come back in here and built that um yeah so i could do with some like candles here as well um but yeah so like you come out here you speak to these guys who are all like the the big mans of the uh of the place and then like press the button to begin the initiation so that's like to speak to these guys you can obviously have a look around if you really want um but yeah so that's what we're sort of dealing with so let me get the candles in and get this like lighting all fixed um i haven't i need to go through like all of this area and put candles in all of the areas in in, uh, in the unity bit um but obviously that'll take too long to do on camera so i'm gonna quickly do that and then i'll be right back Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I forgot to show you that I sort of like put an Assassin's Creed like logo sort of thing on the floor here. Um, well, I tried. Obviously, a small little bit of pixel art. Um, sort of looks like a fucking spaceship from the top down. Um, but yeah, so I've put in these candles. I've added a few more of these like little circular things before. There was like a post here, like just on this block here where it had a torch on top. Now I've added in the uh, like circular sort of whatever the that shape is called um yeah to put the uh, candles in and i think that works quite well and then you sort of have them dim in some areas so it's not too dark but it does set a little bit of an atmosphere then you've got like the table sort of thing here um i could do with actually lighting this one i think it's already lit and it's just playing up maybe one two three yeah that'll do cool um maybe i could put like a skull here or something like that that yeah sort of like that just sort of like looking at you as you come in Maybe if I turn it just a little bit more, there you go. So it's more like actually looking at you. So when you uh, when you're walking in, you sort of got this mob head just sort of looking at you. I think that's quite cool. Um, get rid of that. Yeah. So obviously you come through. I haven't done the rest of it. I need to do all of in here and stuff like that. Don't really know whether to sort of like scatter them along the floor, like you know, proper coming into like an initiation sort of like fucking devil worshipping shit or something like that. You know, like proper spooky i might play around with it um we'll see but obviously this episode isn't meant to be about fucking candles and shit i just wanted to show you this area before we started just because of how beautiful it is obviously it's underground but for some reason there was windows in the game and i decided to put them all like multicolored just to sort of like break it up a little bit from being boring there's these like council chairs and stuff like that like i'll put name these guys council because you don't actually know their names yet so i didn't want you to come up here find out their names and be like all right well cool uh it, i mean even still it wouldn't make a difference but it's more so for the teleport sort of situation you know when i actually go like slash teleport say mirabeau which is one of the person or one of the one of the persons fucking hell one of the people um yeah obviously if i teleported him it would teleport this person as well which obviously we don't want um but yeah so i made these cool little chairs up like thrones i think they look pretty cool the arms and stuff like that and then yeah um so that is that i can't actually put i could put a candle there that'd be good get rid of this one and actually put one there i can't you can't put them on top of like fucking slabs or anything which is so shit but yeah that'll do there just nicely and yeah i might put like a little fucking circle of candles down make it proper spooky we will see but yeah let's get to the next area so we'll fly all the way back here to where it's not a hole there no cool it's just that cool we'll just go out of here and then we'll just place it back down behind us um so obviously over here is like the trials area is where you sort of got to do it's like a find the button um spoiler alert over here is like a sort of command center 
sort of thing. Um, or like uh, the nerve center is called. So basically like just all these different tunnels that lead to different areas of the map. And obviously it sort of just cuts off the same way as it started. Um, I think there's meant to be like people in here. But I might need to like swap a few out to put some candles down maybe. Or I could just use the lanterns like I have. Um, yeah I like the way that this sort of place turned out. Pretty cool, sticks with the theme. It's obviously not in the actual game, but it works for uh, navigation and stuff like that. Right, so the next bit is actually in this mountain. So I didn't build these mountains purely for this, but I built them like afterwards. Okay, we're not going in there because there's a fucking block there. Um, here we go. So this is basically. Oh my god, there's another block. Right, fuck it, we're going in. Cool, no worries. Right, so we'll place that in. So, yeah, it's going to look a bit weird. There's, like, command blocks here. Um, it's, like, a street. Like, I've actually, like, designed a fucking street with cars and stuff like that. Uh, like, a little building over here. Basically, the reason for, like, that is to sort of make it... So, when you come in here into Abstergo, this is where you spawn into the map. Um, you've got the Assassin logo, the Templar logo, just to sort of, you know, they're they're sort of in the middle, you know. We're we're not Templars, but we're you know searching the Templars and the Assassin story, when in reality they are Templars. But yeah, so I wanted it so you could actually look out this window, and you know, from all angles, like even here, you know, you can proper get right in these corners, trying to figure out what's going on. But yeah, all you can tell is that it's a street. I could, in theory, like. I think use like white glass panes and maybe make it look like a oh that's why i didn't do it because of that floor um so let's get those back in um because obviously i put panes then there's gonna be half of this floor on the outside which we don't want but yeah so i made a car and then that car is almost as big as a fucking lorry but still yeah i just wanted to like have it a bit diverse but yeah it's a small detail but i think it works quite nicely you know if someone was like where the fuck are we oh well we're inside a building on a street um yeah which is pretty cool and then obviously you come through here then you're gonna get teleported here i don't think i can teleport ah there you go it's just a little bit delayed it shouldn't be but yeah so then this takes you into here i'll show you a, like a photo on screen of what this is meant to look like but it's like the abstergo from assassin's creed black flag um this was like I'd played the obviously the the first few levels of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, um, so I, this was like the only Abstergo that I ever knew. So it's what I had in my head when I started building, and then like I just looked at photos for Assassin's Creed Black Flag to get this perfect design. There's other ones that I could have used, but I feel like this is the most sort of like you know with the nature and stuff like that. It's it's all here. There's a pressure plate here, and there's meant to be a little woman here, but I don't know where she is. Um, so I need to go and find her um which is very weird but yeah like these are sort of meant to be like um i don't know what they're sort of called like billboards i guess with like you know things that are like changing like a perfume advert or some shit like that you know like just just little things just to sort of like make it you know maybe like a little slideshow of like the assassins going on or something like that got the abstergo logo down here this was a pain in the ass to make to make it actually look normal but i think it come out all right could have been better um i i didn't actually show you around here but basically this is like what we've got so we've got friendlies are going to be in green enemies in red yourself like you as the character is going to be in orange you got main missions which are going to be in light blue so anything like to help like for the mission of something you know like a person in the mission is going to be sort of uh, light blue you got items that are going to be yellow side missions dark blue and pink is for hints so that'll be like your objective so if an objective comes up saying go to this place it's going to be in pink um but yeah i just love how this place is and obviously it's really dark up there because we're on a mountain i didn't know, know what to do so i just basically put it black like you can't really see up there and like it looks like the uh, elevator just goes up there it's really tall um but yeah so that's what we sort of got you just come around the back it's all sort of fully done real nice you got the elevator where you can go into the first and yeah so the first floor you can't go to the second floor yet because the first floor takes you to the to the tutorial i wish i could fucking speak um so yeah i just wanted to show you this before like next episode where we'll sort of go through this it won't actually be a building with casper episode it's just going to be its own standalone thing play testing the map um and obviously 
for building with Casper, we're going to have to get the missions done. So, by that, I mean, basically, we've got one last mission um, where we need to build um, the Templar Temple, uh, which is a very large building. I'll put a photo on screen or something like that if I can get ones that sort of do it justice. But, yeah, it's obviously a crucial part. It's, like, where the end of the game is. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's sort of how we go. So, this is then the elevator again. Um, so, oh, look, here we go, we've already got a hole here, so obviously I need to fill that in, but yeah, you finish in the elevator there, you come through here, this will set off the talking points to this fucking penis Matthew here, and we've got Instagram, Casper the King, YouTube, Casper, and Twitter, Casper the King, boom, I could probably, I need to change that, because it's not actually at Casper the King anymore, but yeah, um, I've used like the glow squid signs and stuff like that, or whatever they are, got a little vending machine over here you can actually get food out of it so you know when you're here this is sort of like the room like it's, it's called like the sample 7 or sample 14 room or something like that um or floor and yeah you basically put your stuff in the chest like so if you've got any blocks or anything like that from like previous missions whatever you've done um and then it tells you who you're going to be playing as so you put your helmet on click the button and boom you go into the thing to buy a casiwa that will take you to origins you got uh unity over here which is arno dorian 17 89 i said 39 earlier or 37 you got the creative ones so pretty similar like obviously they're all different designs because some are angled and some are not but yeah the creative one when you go through here it will take you outside of here to a like block and it's meant to be like the animus um sort of like waiting area so if i go through here like in i've used origins for it because i like this like gilded blackstone for it um but if i get in here um but yeah so i'm in here and basically like in assassin's creed origins i put a photo on screen again um you sort of like run in this like area it's all dark and then it's got like these little like yellow bits around and that's like the animus that that's just what it is for that game um and yeah i just sort of like tried to take that i wanted to use the gilded blackstone somewhere and i think it works really well for it so yeah you basically like it's like you're in the animus and you've got your little select a bit so you're in creative at this point and you can run over here and be like oh do i want to play assassin's creed black flag yeah fucking why not or do i want to play assassin's creed origins and it will take you to that area in creative it will spawn you somewhere and you can just float around there and then obviously there'll be like a coordinate thing that says slash teleport to get back to blah 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 you know, and then obviously you can come out, uh, it'll put you back to survival, and you can go into like one of the areas in survival or something like that. But you obviously got to be careful that you don't mess anything up um, while you're there. So that is basically it. Like this is what we've sort of got. I've got a little gym over here, which is pretty cool. Obviously, you got a little treadmill run on here. You got a yoga mat down. Got a barbell that someone's deadlifting. These are like meant to be kettlebells of some sort. You know, like just a little like circular square things and a punch bag um which is pretty dope i i really like how this area turned out um but yeah i thought it was quite nice just having like the foliage and stuff like that i think it works quite well with uh, minecraft compared to like the other um abstergos that i've seen are just like white plain gray like just boring basically these are meant to be bean bags by the way uh, not just randomly colored blocks um and yeah over here is obviously the black flag area but that is what i that's basically all i wanted to show you so i didn't do a lot of building we fucked around with some candles don't know how long this episode will be but thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next episode which will be the new series of playtesting the map peace